Oh, heck yeah. Welcome back to the channel, guys. We are going back. Continuing on to the kids' side by side. I'm gonna get everything we need to get done in the rear end. So that's gonna be the suspension setup all figured out, the motor mounting, axle, swing arm shocks, pan hard bar. All that stuff is gonna get done this episode. The whole rear end just done. Just done. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get it done. Oh god, put your titties away. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Last episode, we got the whole front end all built, all done. The suspension's all done. The spindles are all built. And, uh, yeah. I'm just going to do it. We should have a roller by the end of this episode. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Let's, uh, yeah.
I want this to be as much like a real side by side as I can make it. So that's lights, electric start, all the bells and whistles. Whistles, whistles, whistles. So all the bells and whistles. I have a 212cc with electric start. It's sitting over on a mini bike. The electric start isn't even hooked up. We don't use it. We always just pull start it. So it seems like a little bit of a waste. So I'm going to take that motor, strip it off the mini bike. We're going to take the tank off, take the carburetor off, the exhaust, um, just kind of de-dress it a bit and get it ready to be used for mock-up on this rear swing arm. We won't be modding the engine in this episode. I'm just going to be using it for mock-up purposes just to make sure that when it's on the swing arm, and the suspension is coming up and down, twisting and articulating and doing all the suspension-y stuff, that that motor is not going to make contact with the frame. And also that if we have to do anything to the motor, we can get in there. The pole start's not blocked by anything. It's not in the way of the suspension and all that stuff. So I'm going to go pull that off the mini bike and then I'm going to start stripping it down and getting it ready to put on this swinger.
I've been working on the rear pan hard bar and I'm just kind of thinking over some stuff. Just a bit. This bar is what keeps all your lateral stability because at the front it's just a rod end bearing. So without this here, the whole rear end can shift to the left and the right. So this is what keeps it all running in a straight line, but it also allows the suspension to have articulation. So it allows this side to come up, this side to come up, or or to all come up at once. One of the problems I'm running into is I think I did not set this rear pan hard bar up with enough preload. So it's already sitting pretty horizontal and this is with no load on the frame. We don't have a battery in, we don't have the fuel tank, there's no seats, there's no all the tabs and gas tanks and components. And I already said gas tanks, didn't I? <laughs> I mean, you can see there, we're already, we're already down. So what I'm thinking about doing is cutting this lower mount off, making it shorter, and then welding it back off. So I'm gonna cut it off. I'm gonna take ah, probably about a quarter of an inch. Damn, son. Ah, f ah. Is it worth it? Let me work it. We'll take it down and reverse it. Yeah. With the rear swing arms all done, the rear pan hard bar is all done and all adjusted. So now it's time to move on to the suspension hanger. So I'm gonna uh, make some suspension mounts for the rear end, start mocking up the rear shocks, and that's it. This thing should be a roller at that point. So it shouldn't take me much, much longer to get all that done. Right, that's it for this episode we got all the suspension done we made ourselves a roller so this thing next episode car. well that's the end of this episode we got exactly what we wanted to get done we have a roller in the next episode we'll be dealing with all the mechanical stuff getting the drive line hooked up the steering all the electrical and we'll deal with that but what i really want to do next episode is get back on the tub because the weather's finally nice and that thing needs to get up on the dirt track so we're going to take a break from this for a week we're going to start working back on the tub and we'll hopefully get that done and get it driving so thank you very much for watching like and subscribe if you want to see more of this or you want to come back and see more of the wheelbarrow we'll be getting right back into this in no time and we'll be getting it finished so thank you very much for watching and see you guys later Welcome back to the channel guys. Welcome back to the channel guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to welcome back. Welcome back to the channel guys. Welcome back to the channel guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel guys. Welcome back.